Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, come on in here and sit down with me. Let's get something for you, hot or cold to drink. What do you like? Open your Bible up right there and let's uh, study God's Word today. Remember, Daily Dose Radio, it's five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. And what a lovely psalm we have this week to study, Psalm 84. And today we're going to read verses 5 through 8. So this psalm is divided into thirds. We have verses 1 through 4, then we have a Selah. We have 5 through 8, then we have a Selah. And we have 9 through 12, and the psalm closes. So today we're going to do this this middle piece, this 5 through 8. We're going to read those verses today. And this verse begins with a a blessing. Let me read then for us, uh, beginning there in verse 5. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well. The rain also fills the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appears before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. All right, so here we have the man, blessed is the man whose strength is in thee. Why is this significant? Well, the reason why it's significant is the way the psalm begins, the Psalter, the whole Psalter, the entire book of Psalms begins with a blessing. You remember that? Do you remember that Psalm? Psalm 1? Let me turn there real quick. So Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. So the very first verse in the very first psalm begins with this blessedness. And then we have we have the blessedness again in Psalm 2. In verse 12, Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Yeah. And so you see in Psalm 1 and in Psalm 2 and throughout the Psalms, we have this word blessed that just comes up over and over again. And and in this Psalm, we have it three times. We have it here in verse 4. Blessed are all they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee. So, of course, I think he has in mind the birds there. But... The birds as a representation of what it could be for us when we continue to remain in the Lord's presence. Then we have verse 5, Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them. The ways of what? The ways of them that dwell in the house of the Lord. They that dwell in thy house. So blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, whose heart are the ways of them. So again, another blessing we have here in verse 5. And then you'll notice that this blessed man has a way of seeing blessing along his path. Passes through the valley of Baca, make it a well. The rain also fills the pools. Why? Because the blessed man is there. They go from strength to strength. Why? Because he's blessed. Because his strength is in thee. Every one of them in Zion appears before God. Why does he appear before God? Because he's blessed. And he knows where his blessing comes from, in whose heart are the ways of them. Who are them? Those that dwell in thy house. This blessing and the blessing that he receives in the way in which he's walking and along the path of life, well, all of these things come because he's in the house of the Lord. He's, in, he's staying in the presence of God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Well, what's he doing now? He's praying. So we understand why the blessing comes here, because he's a, he's a man of prayer. And he's a man of prayer because he knows the nearness of God. And he knows the nearness of God. He knows the goodness of the Lord. He sees the blessing of the Lord along his way. Yeah, you see, all of this is wonderful. And the, the sons of Korah are just laying out the facts, just the simple facts of life Staying near the Lord, being in his presence, produces a blessing. It's a triple blessing. It's a blessing of praise, and it's a blessing of strength, and it's a blessing of trust, which we'll see 
there in verse 12, because we have another blessing there in verse 12 to look forward to. Okay, well, tomorrow we have another Selah here at the end of verse 8, so we're going to meditate on this. And tomorrow we will take up verses 9 and 10 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.